The fun of peacetime fairs was soon forgotten as Pinot was plunged into the Second World War. This rare colour film was taken in 1943 after nearly four years of war and shows the 13th Battalion of the Middlesex Home Guard as it assembles in Bridge Street and marches off towards Pinner Underground Station. The 13th Battalion was based in Northwooden Pinner and although this film was probably taken in the early morning, the lack of traffic makes a marked contrast with the modern day Pinner. The occasion for this parade was to celebrate the third anniversary of the formation of the Home Guard units. Middlesex battalions assembled at the Empire Stadium at Wembley on Sunday the 16th of May 1943 to commemorate this anniversary. Nearly 6,000 officers and men of the 11 battalions from all parts of the county paraded at Wembley. The salute was taken by Field Marshal Lord Milne who complimented the part-time soldiers on their marching and appearance at this anniversary parade. By the end of 1944, the need for home guard units was reduced. With the Allied armies poised for their final push into Germany, the threat of any invasion on Britain had disappeared. The stand-down ceremonies for the Middlesex Battalions took place on the 3rd of December and the 13th Battalion marched through the wet streets of Pinner to their stand-down parade in the grounds of Hayden Hall in Eastcote. Four companies making up the battalion assembled in Joel Street with the battalion band and then marched to Hayden Hall where they were joined by the Women's Auxiliary Air Force Band from Eastcote. The drumhead service was conducted by the battalion chaplain, the Reverend Walker, and was followed by a speech from Mr. J.S. Hogg, J.P. from Pinner, who thanked the men for their excellent service to the people of Middlesex. He spoke of the tremendous debt that was owed by the whole country to the men and women who had volunteered to serve in the Home Guard over the past four and a half years. At its peak, there were nearly two million members of the Home Guard throughout the country, and on disbandment, each man would receive a certificate of service, and its officers would have an honorary rank. <laughs>